In between the ever-changing sky and crystal clear ocean waters, we are a family of six, always streaming towards the horizon as we explore the brazen Caribbean, island after island, on our 40-foot catamaran Manakai, soul of the ocean. Oh, the beauty we inhabit, a dreamlike fantasy that we call life, walking through wonders slowly, seeing sights without any strife. Hi everyone, my name is Irina and I am the best maid here on Manakai. To the right from me is Alisa, our eldest. This little cutie is our baby Alex, who has been living on board for all his life. <laughs> Today we prepared a special episode for you about our daily life on board. Welcome! Let's go to see the others. Oh, here he is. Meet my husband, Victor, our captain, the favorite person ever and a mastermind of a lifetime journey for our family. This is our Max here. Mine is love. What a brave boy. Our charming Alena, who usually puts our adventure into poetry. Yep, that's me. <laughs> that I often use for our videos. Thank you. Somebody asks if we get bored or tired sharing such a small place of a boat or being together for 24/7 for a long time. Watch this episode and judge for yourself. Our morning starts early, with the sun rising, and with a perfect cup of hot black coffee. Nothing makes you feel more cheerful in the morning than refreshing swimming. Feels so good! Something that we made our good habit is the morning exercises. Absolutely must do if you want to stay healthy and full of energy. Breakfast is an important meal of the day. Let it be high in nutrition and calories. There are so many things to do before afternoon. Usually Victor looks through news and calls friends and family. Girls are busy with homeschool program. Max also learning some reading and simple math. And then he spent time playing with his little Need body. Little for Max and Lex. Some days are wet and rainy, but usually it not last for long.
We stay on board in those days, doing whatever everybody likes. Kids are busy with arts and crafts. Girls teach little boys some skills. We are a reading family and always appreciate when can find a good bookstore. Needless to say, if you live on the boat full time, you spend a lot of time taking care of maintenance and keeping floating home clean and tidy. Not really different from what you do, but with some specialties. Now it's time to have some rest. Right now we're gonna go to that little pay station right over there um, uh, to get an envelope and pay for our mooring because we're staying right now in this bay in St. John. St. John is the smallest of the three main U.S. Virgin Islands. Originally settled by the Arawaks and Caribbean Indians, oh the island God. has a history as rich as its landscape. The United States purchased wow. St. John from the Danish West India and Guinea Company in 1917. In 1956, Lawrence Rockefeller donated over 5,000 acres of the island to the National Park Service. With two-thirds of the island designed as a national park, St. John has some of the world's most beautiful beaches, where it is so good to spend time with family and friends, enjoying spectacular views of crystal clear water and all shades of turquoise, with a backdrop of green lush landscape and faraway neighboring islands and keys. Soft splashing of flooding ties makes you feel fantastically relaxed. You can and you have to travel with kids. They are amazing souls, very perceptive and brilliant. Fulfill their natural curiosity, no school can do it for you. No academic knowledge can replace one's own experience. And spiced with rich children's imagination, every trip turns into the real adventure, into magical reality 
and an interesting quest. Open eye, feel the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in. Hold tight, hold tight, chemicals collide. Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. Dripping lights, paint the skies, all because of you. Tropical climate, warm and sunny all year round in this little paradise. St. John is a great destination for cruisers and those who love water sports and hiking. Named after Salomon Ziegler's wife Anna, Annaberg Plantation was a leading producer of sugar, molasses and rum. The windmill at Annaberg is the main focus point at the ruins and the largest windmill in the Virgin Islands. Built between 1810 and 1830, the windmill could produce between 300 and 500 gallons of juice within an hour. The boiling house is a spot at the ruins where you can actually go inside and see where the hidden kettlers used to sit. The walls of the boiling house were made of volcanic rock and mortar and Ah, an interesting sight to see up close. And if we were working there, will you work with me? Thank you. If someone gives me cane, I push it through here, it's squished, and the juice is running out all over your feet, okay? <laughs> you get it, you push it back through here, okay? But you have to be very careful, because with all that slippery stuff, if your hand gets caught, mm. and that's the way it was, it was, the, the slaves were very poorly treated. Mm -hmm. That's where the pipe was, and it came right into this area over here, okay? And, uh, <clears throat> whoop, whoop. <clears throat> and see, this is the way this is laid out, okay? So the juice would have come down and gone into the middle called the clarifier. They, they you know, they put in uh, stuff and get the crap out. And you had, on this side, there was a big fire going right in here, mm -hmm. all right? And the flames would go through those holes and they could dampen them to, you know, Just control, to control the fire. And on the inside, <clears throat> uh, there were four kettles, four kettles with the sugar in it, the juice. So as it boils, it gets more viscous, thicker. For collecting molasses, they drill a little hole in the keg turn it over, the molasses runs out, okay? The brown sugar is left, we ship that to Europe, maybe even Russia, who knows, okay? And that's because the Europeans controlled all of this and that's where the big money was, in just in turning it into white sugar. When you visit Annenberg sugar plantation ruins, go and see the ruins, but stay for the views. The views are breathtakingly stunning. Looking out from Annenberg, you can see Leominster Bay, the Sir Francis Drake Channel, and a few of the British Virgin Islands. We can see from here, it's just Van Dyke and Tartola. My favorite time of the day, when all family gather on deck to spend evening together, relax and admire fabulous Caribbean sunsets.
Ты выиграл. Ребята, идите сюда. Совещание. Куда идем, ребят? Сан-Томас, Мортарика, Сан-Джон. Давай поедем на Кулибрику. The great thing about living on the boat, you easily can unplug and move whatever you desire. You always leave waterfront and change one spectacular view for another, no less breathtaking. I love the sound as the anchor lifts. I love the wind blowing through our sail. I love the hazy outline of land. I love the sun shining on the ocean. I love it with my high art, yeah, high art, yeah. This is us, the sailors, traveling the oceans, discovering new things. This is us, the voyagers, discoverers, yeah. I love the breeze, so fresh and clean. I love the fish sleeping through the water. I love the crew, always ready and there, always prepared, yeah. I love the sound as the anchor lifts. I love the wind blowing through our sails. I love the hazy outline of land. I love the sun shining on the ocean. I love it with my heart. Yeah, heart. Yeah, this is us, the sailors, traveling the ocean, discovering things. This is us, the voyagers, discoverers. Yeah. This is us, the sailors, voyagers, discoverers, discoverers, yeah. Living on the water means that we can go fishing any time. We then encourage kids like fishing and get us enough for a good dinner. While underway, Victor set rods to catch something more interesting. Приятно на закате поймать две огромных чьюны. Он видите, еле тащит. Она так далеко там. Вся удочка гнет. Что ты делала саму? Бабушка, достанем с тобой бутыль. Да. Посмотрим, что там. Вот такой ужин планируется. What a fabulous and spectacular escape the little Culebrita makes. This tiny cave, located on the northeast corner of Culebra, is uninhabited and pristine. This is not our first time, but it's always absolutely pleasurable. Culebrita boasts beautiful beaches with white soft sand like a powder, clear water with great underwater visibility for snorkeling, a wild turtle population that frequents the area, and are often seen some amazing bus that uh, is a rock formation that slows a large northern waves and form a jacuzzi-like experience, ruins of an old lighthouse and some walking trails that will get you across and up to the top of the cave. We're gonna go up to the lighthouse. The island is a wildlife refuge, so you'll see birds, hermit crabs, lizards Gorka. and some other animals. The lighthouse Faro Isla de Colibritas was put into service in 1886 and was operating until 1975. Since then, it has been left to ruin 
from both natural and human parts. But what is left is still beautiful. The greatness of nature is unbelievable. We are so grateful to live these moments, to witness the beauty and the harmony, to be part of this life. After the hiking up to the lighthouse and capturing some fantastic scenery from the top of the hill, we continued to the local bus to have a splendid time. Here the sea meets the land and creates a natural bobbing swimming pool inhabited with small colorful fishes with water is so clear and warm. Now we are going to run Watermaker. It's an absolutely fantastic invention that allows to make a good quality fresh water that you can drink out of the outside seawater. It's so good to have such a sink on board as it greatly makes your life easier. While generator is working and we have enough power, kids take time to watch in movies. Sometimes we do something normal too, like for example, going to playground with kids. We do it not often thanks to sales, but now we are planning to go to Bahamas 
and there is a situation with coronavirus, so we want to make sure that we have enough fuel. Thanks for watching! Like, subscribe, follow our adventure above and below the sea!